a really cool celestial feature coming our way later on this week. It's going to be a partial total lunar eclipse. Get ready for a sky spectacle this weekend. A superflower blood moon lunar eclipse will be coming to the night sky. Year in a row, the full superflower blood moon will be back during the month of May. Last year it was toward the end of the month. This year it will be on Sunday. Okay, so this is a segment you might call fun with science or Max tries to sound like he knows something about science, but we wanted to let you know there's going to be a lunar eclipse on May 15th. That's a week from Sunday. And so uh, it's going to be at night around 10, 11 p.m. Let's see. It starts at 930, but it's going to be at its height at 10, 11 to 1053. So what is going to happen? Well, the real scientists tell us that the moon is going to look blood red because the Earth is going to be blocking some of the light that hits it. So it's not a full eclipse. If it were a full eclipse, the moon would essentially disappear because what's called the umbra, the darkest part of the Earth's shadow, would be uh, blocking it out. But in this eclipse, which the NASA folks call a full flower moon, uh, it's, we're going to just see a different color of the moon. So our first eclipse of the year and it should be a this really neat thing to see. Feature coming our way later on this week. It's going to be a partial total lunar eclipse. So let's go over the basics here. The moon is going to be eclipsed by Earth's shadow. It'll be in its full phase and what's happening is the Earth is going to be between the sun and the moon in a straight line. Here's the timeline of what we're expecting on the west coast specifically for Pacific time. Uh, the partial eclipse is going to begin at 11.18 p.m. So you can kind of see how it's moving through the shadow here. Maximum eclipse is going to be at 102. Now, this is the reason why we're calling it a partial total lunar eclipse. Because there's just the tiniest little sliver here of the moon being illuminated by the sun. Otherwise, it's going to be covered by Earth's shadow. And then we're going to wrap things up with the partial eclipse ending at 2.47 in the morning. So this is going to stretch, stretch from Thursday night into Friday morning. Here you can kind of see what it's going to be looking like as that moon starts to pass through the shadow. Again, this is going to be universal time. So uh, the time code down there, that's going to be the universal time. We went over the Pacific time there. As it starts to pass through the darkest shadow, the umbra, it's going to take on this coppery red glow, a really beautiful sight. And then it's going to start to exit there. You can see just little sliver there illuminated with the white color as it starts to exit it'll take on its normal color of the white that we're so typically uh, seeing when we see
，脚上的。这是什么天气啊？我靠，这个天怎么了？鞠躬就一个，不是，还红的不会，还是天冷。没了。他还在闪动。我靠，啥情况啊？我去，这个天冷死了呀！我靠，哎呀，世界又不用毁灭了。你看，你看，又没了，没了耶！断了，断了。我靠！没了，消失了，我莫名的消失了，我莫名消失了，我去。